Welcome to Brown Betty's, where you can find brown girls in color. Like this look? Want this look? Let's get into this look, guys. So, first up, we're going to start with these brows. Using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dual-sided brush. One side is a nice, flat, angled brush, and the other side is a spoolie. We're going to brush out the eyebrows with the spoolie brush, then we're going to fill them in using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. Moving on now, I'm going to conceal the eyebrows with some MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color NC45. I'm um, just trying to clean up the brows. I'm going to be priming the eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Just a little small pea size amount. For a base, I'll be using the MAC Paint Stick in the color Pure White. The first eyeshadow I'll be using is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills World's Travelers Palette and the color is called Fudge. I'm just going to be applying this color with a nice fluffy brush inside the crease area of the eye. Next up I'll be trying to lighten up that shadow a little with another color from the same palette called Morocco. I'm just going to be applying that same color inside that crease area right over top of that fudge just to make it nice and seamless. Right under that crease color using a small fluffy brush I'll be using a eyeshadow from BH Cosmetic Take Me to Brazil palette. It's a beautiful nice royal bluish kind of a oceany bluish color. I'll just be applying that color directly under the first crease color and trying to blend it out seamlessly with a larger fluffy brush. In the same palette, I'll be applying a bright matte purple to the entire eyelid with a nice flat brush. I'm applying that, packing that color onto the eyelid. Once all colors are applied, blend, 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 just to make everything meet. Back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette using a very opaque black matte color. I'll be applying that color to the very edge of the eyes with a big fluffy brush very lightly. Careful not to apply the color too thick. Just going back in now to fix things up. When you're blending out your color, you might tend to lose some, so you might want to reapply. Now on to the glitter. This is a beautiful purple get glitter from LA Splash in the color Midnight Flash. I love this glitter. It's very nice. It's actually the first time I'm ever using it. I'll be applying the glitter using my mixing medium from MAC. Just going to dip my brush into the mixing medium, then apply that to the area of the eye I want the glitter on, then dip the same brush on the other side into the glitter and continue to pack the glitter on until I get the desired effect. Get over it. Never thought I'd 
Now we're using a navy purplish color from the BH Cosmetic Palette. I'll be taking a pencil brush and lining the bottom lash line. Back to the glitter. I'll be applying the glitter to the inner corners of the eye on the lower lash line. Very carefully just applying it to the lower lash line. Sometimes when you're using glitter it can get all over your face. Don't worry about it. Take a spoolie brush and brush it, brush it, brush it off. Anyway you see the glitter and it will just come right off. Might be a little abrasive to the skin so just try to be careful. I'll be lining the eyes with the L'Oreal Liquid Mascara. First we're going to start with a nice tight line close to the lash line and then we're going to thicken that line up and wing it out. I'll be coating the lashes with a L'Oreal Miss Manga Rock Mascara in the color Black is Black. On to the face using a Smashbox Primer. I'll be priming my face. I'll be using MAC Studio Fix Fluid for my foundation in the color NC50. Using the LA Girl Concealer in the color Fawn, I'll just be doing a very light conceal under the eye and adding a little bit of light to the forehead and as well as the bridge of the nose. Blending that out with a regular triangle sponge. I'm trying out these MAC blushes as a contour. Right now I'm using Film Noir and I'm going to apply that heavily in my contour areas and then I'm going to buff it out really, really good. To set the face and begin the blending process, I'll be using my MAC Skin Finish in the color Dark. But this time, really only applying dark to the center of my face. It's one of the lighter skin finish powders. To blend out the edge of my face, I'll be using the MAC Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. And that's going to bring everything together. I'm using a MAC Blush in the color Raisin. I'll be highlighting above the lip area with the MAC Prep and Prime Pen in the color Peach Luster. And blending that out with the sponge wedge. For the lips, I'm going to start out with a MAC lipstick in the color Cyber. Cyber is a very rich, deep, dark, blacky purple. Now I'm going to take my MAC paint stick in the color Pure White and apply that to the center of the lips to create a nice ombre effect. Makeup is not forever. It can always be altered and adjusted. So while creating this lip look, I thought it wasn't exactly what I was going for. So I pulled out a Milani pink lipstick in the color Flirty Fuchsia and I applied that directly to the center of the lips. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like and if you love this Brown Betty's look, please like this video and subscribe as well.